and uh, both Fred and Pal actually promised them free lunch. They didn't realize it was, it was going to be a virtual lunch to come on the camera with us and talk a little about this. So, guys, it's been a crazy year. The, um, the oil and gas industry has went through this double black swan event. We have a decrease in demand. We have a global pandemic. And our industry is changing whether it wants to or not. And I think it's really cool that we have all these thought leaders coming in one place at one time to talk about some of the, the issues we have to deal with. Uh, Fred, you want to talk a little bit about, you know, the need to drive efficiencies on the upstream side of the house like we've never had to do it before? Yeah, thanks, Mark. You know, what we're seeing with the forecasts on demand, as well as, quite frankly, the new um, aspirations on greenhouse gas efficiency improvements, is we've got a situation in which I think technology will be a critical piece that the industry will rely on to help it meet these new goals. We've got not only short-term cost pressures, but we've got structural cost pressures. We have difficulties retracting or attracting workers into the field that we can help uh, mitigate with technology. So it's, it's a unique time in the industry. Yeah, and pal, I know you have some input around here. You've uh, been around almost as long as I've been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And um, I'm ac actually interested in our discussion at uh, Automation Fair this year on um, digital transformation. And uh, I find something interesting about digital transformation. We've been transforming for 30 years, at least since I joined the industry. I mean, my first job was an application engineer building uh, software models of process units. But I think what's different now is um, after all those years, uh, the infrastructure is in place, the connect connectivity is in place, there's data everywhere. So now we can kind of begin to harvest that data with uh, smart applications, um, AI, um, machine learning, uh, analytics, and begin to make better decisions to help us get take costs out of, out of, out of business, help us reimagine the business in a digital way. Yeah, and that's really kind of the overall theme for this forum is, is how do we use modern technology um, to help our leaders make better, faster, and, and more accurate business decisions in this lean times. And uh, unfortunately, I, the you know, what we're going through now is, is not something that is just a temporary blip on the radar. As an industry, between social pressures, uh, between the shifts in, in demand, between emerging populations, we have to run a lean efficient operation, which which we've always tried to do, but now with the, the lower cost of technology, um, we're able to do it you know, much quicker, much faster. And what I think is really cool about the forum is we're going to have so many thought leaders there. And it, the, one of the things about the oil and gas industry that I have a love-hate relationship with is that we don't always look at what other industries are doing, right? We tend to sometimes try to reinvent the wheel. And for the first time, we've, we're realizing as an industry that we don't need to do that. We can look at other industries mm -hmm. that have done stuff and figure out how to do it ourselves quickly and easy. And that's one of the other things that happened during this forum is we're going to look at other industries and how they solve the same problems that we're dealing with. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. I'm, I'm sure I can't wait for y'all to see y'all there as well. Yes, me too. Um, Technology is actually taking advantage of this IT, OT integration. And uh, with the integration of information technology and operational technology, we're going to achieve some of the, the industry's uh, long stated goals. We're going to see uh, more of a drive to remote operations, which are safer. We're going to see um, autonomous autonomous assets. We're going to see dramatically simplified uh, oil field uh, infrastructure. And uh, all that's going to result in, you know, reduced costs, um, you know, and better business models. Yeah. And back to Fred's original point about attracting talent. When when we start looking like NASA, right, when we start having robotics and machine learning and artificial intelligence and measurement while drilling in real time, now you start seeing the young people realize how cool an industry is to work in, that it's not all heavy steel and oil, that we're one of the highest tech industries on the planet. And once again, we're going to be talking about that at the forum. So if you're watching this and, and you want to come join us, it's Tuesday, November 17th, starts at 11 a.m. Central Time. There'll be a link for uh, you to sign up. Come sign up. I'd love to see you there. They're actually letting me moderate the panel. I have no idea why, but I know it's going to be a ton of fun. <laughs> Fred and Powell, man, this is awesome. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, Thank yes. Look forward to it. Look forward to it.